Four months ago, I blew my knee. I was in a wheelchair and I couldn't put any weight on it. But through hard work and determination, now I'm just as strong and in some lifts even stronger than I was before I hurt my knee. Despite all this though, I can't get back into freestyle yet because my knee just doesn't have the stability and confidence to take those kind of impacts. I will get back on the jumps and rails. I have no doubt about that whatsoever, but it's just gonna take a lot longer than I would initially have thought when I first hurt my knee. You see, in the UK, when someone hurts their knee, like myself, there are two paths that they might go down and they depend on one variable, whether or not you have private healthcare. You see, the lucky people with private healthcare, they get their knee scanned within the next week or so, and within a few days of that, they'll know exactly what it is they've done. From there, they can either start their rehab process or their prehab process if it's gonna be surgery they need, and within a month or two, they should probably be getting surgery. Sometimes within the next week, depending on how bad the injury is. However, those of us who aren't so fortunate to have private healthcare, we go down a bit of a different path. There's a bit more hurdles to jump through. I'm gonna tell you what my journey's been like at the mercy of the NHS. So, when I first hurt my knee, we went straight to accident and emergency at the hospital, where I had to wait four hours just to get seen. After those four hours, I got seen and got told, actually, you're gonna to have to book in an appointment and come back tomorrow so someone can check you out properly. They gave me some crutches and told me, take some ibuprofen and paracetamol and, and that should help. Yeah, I was in the most pain I've ever been in in my life. And this coming from someone who's had multiple concussions, I've broken my hip, every finger in both my hands. Ibuprofen and paracetamol was not gonna cut it. And I was told to come back the next morning. I had no other option. I came back the next morning after booking an appointment. When I did come in, I was checked out by one, actually two different nurses who played around with my knee and told me, actually, it seems fine. You probably just stretched it. You should be better in a week or two. I'm sitting there thinking, well, this is, you know, way more painful than anything I've ever gone through. And I've done multiple really bad injuries to myself. So I don't think I've just stretched it, but I had to just take these nurses word for it and, and go home. Really unpleased with the way I've been treated. I booked in a session where the physio I've been to before, he's very very good physio especially with snow sports athletes and knee injuries like what I'm going through so I knew I was in safe hands when he heard how I'd been treated he was not happy so we hatched a plan to see if we could convince the NHS to give me an MRI scan first things first I had to book in an appointment with my local GP physio who I needed to use strong wording with to convince him to refer me on to the proper NHS physiotherapy department once I had referral there I had to convince them to refer me on to the orthopedic department, who I then had to convince to give me an MRI scan. Yeah, what the hell. And if you think that sounds bad, wait until you hear what actually happened. After two weeks of waiting, I finally got my appointment with the GP physio, who did some tests on my knee and said, yeah, it seems like there's definitely gonna be something going on with your ACL there. So he referred me on to the physiotherapy department. Yes. After another two weeks of waiting, I got my appointment with the physiotherapy department. I went in, she had a look at my knee and said, you know what, it actually seems fine. She gave me exercises and recommended I come back in four weeks. I pushed and pushed for a scan, explaining to them how I needed my knee for my livelihood and that it was such an important thing, even for my mental health, just to know what was going on inside my body. They wouldn't budge. Typically, we aim to rehab you to full capacity first. And if that doesn't work, then we'll have an MRI scan and really figure out what's going on. Finally, I convinced her to talk to their knee specialist to see if he thought it would be useful for me to get a scan. I pretty much accepted defeat and booked in my appointment for four weeks later. There wasn't really another option. Nine weeks, <laughs> nine weeks post injury, I come back in. At this point, I'm walking up and down stairs pretty well and able to function normally in my everyday life, which is all the NHS really seemed to care about when it comes to my functionality. But there's no way I could have been skiing or even thinking about putting a pair of skis on, which is what was really important. I get told that the knee specialist doesn't think I'm quite bad enough to warrant a scan. I can't even make any money. <laughs> I'm told to book in another appointment two months later for them to test me and see if I've gotten back to full functionality. Two more months, that's gonna make it four months. 
post-injury. I go back to my physio and we hatch a new plan. He writes me a letter that I can bring to my GP, essentially demanding that they further investigate my knee and pleading for a scan. I have to wait a further two weeks just for that GP appointment, which I get. And when I see him, it's the same one I saw at the GP the first time. He understands my situation and wants to help as much as he can, but all he can really do is send that letter onto the physiotherapy department, hoping that they take it a step further. So I wait another week, nothing's going on, and then I get a phone from the physio. It's the lady I'd been seeing at the physiotherapy department, and she asks me a couple questions about the letter. I managed to convince her to give me a second opinion appointment with the orthopedic knee specialist. Yes. Another two weeks go by and I get my appointment with the orthopedic knee specialist who after, I'm not kidding you, five seconds, he literally got me lying on a table and just lifted my leg like this, pushed it to the side, pushed it to the side and went, yeah, looks like you've torn your ACL and your MCL probably. I'll book you in for a scan just now. You're telling me it was that easy all along, but this difficult as well. I had to wait a whole nother month, but then I get my MRI scan. This was my second time, but if you've never had one before, it's super weird. You go feet first into this gigantic tube while you have earplugs and earmuffs over the top of your head because of how loud it's gonna warble. And then you've just gotta sit there for 20 minutes and not move a single muscle, just staring at one point on the roof. After those 20 minutes, you get out and you just leave. Simple like that. This brings us up to the present moment, finally, where I'm just waiting to get my results back. You see, when my girlfriend got her MRI scan, she had her results within two days. So I'm thinking, well, it's probably going to be about two weeks for the NHS because they take a lot longer to do everything. Boy, two weeks would be nice. We gave them a phone up and they told us it's going to be two months until I get my results. Two months. We have to wait two months for the consultants and radiologists to meet together and talk about the injury and decide what things would need to be done so that then the consultant can actually tell me about it. The thing is, the radiologists have most likely already typed up the results from the scan and there's a note just sitting there on the NHS records telling exactly what it is I've done and I can't see it yet. Right now we're trying to request that they release our data but it means I need to fill out massive forms and stuff and send it in. I'm gonna get that done today and fingers crossed it works and I can find out what's actually happened in the next week or so. But if that doesn't, I'm gonna to have to wait those two months, which will bring me to six months post injury before I actually know what the injury was. I'll need to wait another six months, maybe even a year after finding out what's happened before I can even get the surgery, if that is what I need. Take care of your knees. Please, because if you hurt one, it puts you out for way longer than you'd expect. The nine month recovery period is only half of the pie. And take this as a warning from me to you. Please get private health care and never rely on the NHS. Cheers.